Hi, today I'm going to walk you through uh, how the operator would use the operator screens to execute an order. So there's two ways that an operator can uh, execute an order. Uh, there's a work queue style screen and there's a unit operation style screen. The work queue screen uh, is for used mainly for when you have multiple serial numbers per order. And this is lists the operations that you need to do in sequence that are ready to go. Unit operations is focused on a particular piece of equipment. And instead of listing it by operation, it lists the items you need to work on by serial number. So this one's really good for serial numbers that are one serial number to one work order. This one's really good for the cases where you have multiple serial numbers to a work order. They both do the same thing. So I'm gonna show you unit operations. Um, but you could use either one, it just depends on how you are going to do your work as an operator. So this is the unit operation screen. There's three tabs, things that are open, ready for you to work on, things that are on hold, and things that you've completed. The open orders uh, are listed here, and the way this works is that as an operator, I would pick the equipment that I'm working on. So think about an operator that comes into a situation where perhaps there's a moving line or perhaps they come into a workstation and they sit there all day and carts roll up for them to work on things. So think about it that way. So what I do is I pick this work center I'm gonna work on. And in this case, I already picked one, it's called Welder 1. And you'll see that it's highlighted here. Along the top, you'll see that we build a list of favorites for you. So if you work on a couple of workstations, you can bounce back and forth between the workstations. I hope you enjoyed part one of unit operations. Please continue and check out part two, where we're going to get into the details of how an operator completes the uh, work order.